All right, students, so we're going to talk about the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient, and the formula is in fact RS is equal to 1 minus 6 sigma d squared over n, open brackets, n squared uh, minus 1 close brackets. Now, sometimes you might actually see the n refers to the number of variables that you have. Eh? All right, sometimes you might actually see, instead of seeing this n, open brackets, n squared minus 1, you might actually see n cubed minus n. Which is simply the same. Oh, how do you get that? n by n squared is n to the power of 1 plus n to the power of 2, which is n to the power of 3 minus n by 1 is n. So I might get n to the power of 3 minus n. Doesn't matter how you represent the same thing. All right? Okay, so let's go through quickly. I'm going to give you a small example here. All right, so we have this example basically. We have country um, GNP per capita, which is in US dollars, and we have boot rich per 1,000. All right? We have approximately 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 countries. So the n value will be 10, right? n will be 10. All right? And we have these variables here. Now, what I usually do is to keep, just a, let us keep in mind that we have to rank these individual parameters. So G and per capita, we will rank them. And also birth rates per capita. Well, I'm sorry, per thousand, we will rank them as well. If you are ranking um, one parameter in ascending order, you are, to ex you are to do the same ascending order rank for the other parameter, which is for birth rate per capita, or vice versa. If you are doing the ranking in a descending order, the same thing should be applied in the, in the other one. All right? All right, so with respect to this particular question, um, if we were to rank one, I actually use rank one to be associated with GNP per capita. I went from the highest to the lowest. The highest is the first rank. So 31,000 corresponded to the first rank. Um, the second rank was 29,000. The third rank was, in fact, 17,000 on that order, right? All right, as you can see down on the screen. Now, be very careful when you're ranking it, right? The same thing will be applicable for birth rates. Now, with respect to birth rates now, um, which is um, per, per 1,000, doesn't matter you really, we're ranking these values here. The same thing I applied, I use the highest value of 64 to have a rank of 1. But be very careful with this one, because in birth rates, you will actually have two values, all right, 55 for Sierra Leone, uh, 55 again for China, they will occupy the same rank, which is four. But the one after that, the other rank will actually be two notches ahead. For example, we already have one, rank one. We already have rank two. We already have rank three, right? Sierra Leone and China is ranked the same, which is rank four. Why? They have the same numerical values here. All right, the same values. So. One was supposed to be five, but it's not five. They actually both rank at the same. They tie for four. So the other rank, which is actually at 46, which is just below 55, according to the um, values we have here, all right, the 46 for Pakistan would actually be rank six. I wouldn't go rank five. In that way, you ensure that you actually maintain a total value of what? 10 in your ranking scheme. All right? Okay, students, so that being said, now, sometimes in certain exp um, uh, in certain calculations, the you would not actually see the n number to be the exact number as the uh, values that you have on the screen, right? It may vary, it may vary a bit, and we will actually show that in the exam question, which is in 2015 map reading question. All right, I will show you that when this time is right. Now, now uh, d happens to be the difference between the ranks. So rank 1 minus rank 2 will actually give you 1. 7 minus 6 is 1. 5 minus 8 is minus 3. 6 minus 3 is 3. 4 minus 7 is minus 3. And that order coming all the way down. Then you actually find d squared. This is actually supposed to be not d2, d squared, right? That was all my mistake there. All right. Now d squared, you're actually squaring these d values to eliminate the minus signs. All right, and you will get 1 by 1 is 1, 1 squared is 1, 3 squared is 9. Even minus 3 squared would be equal to 9 because minus by minus is a plus. After you have all those values, you know, sigma 
which is in fact the sum of, that is our sign which refers to the sum of, the sigma d squared refers to the sum of all these values here for d squared. All right, it will get 292. Now, if you were to plug in this formula, r is equal to 1 minus 6 sigma d squared all over n open brackets n squared minus 1 close brackets, or the other formula could actually be r is equal to 1 minus 6 sigma d squared all over n to the power of 3 minus n. All right, it's the same thing, really. The same thing, okay? Yeah, that's kind of simplified even further. Okay, um, now let's calculate this quickly. Now, based on the calculation here, you must never forget the 6. In my first video when I was doing this, I actually forgot the 6, right? Which means you must never forget the 6 here, right? So, r is equal to 1 minus um, 6 by sigma d squared over the, um, all over n to the power 3 minus n. You will get um, 1 minus 6 by 292 all over a thousand minus a ten all right just remember the number of values that you have is in fact ten variables right ten variables right so that being said that will be equivalent to one uh sorry it will be equivalent to minus zero point seven nine seven six nine now students a minus sign is indicative of a negative correlation all right a positive, a positive sign is indicative of a positive correlation. So in this case, it is a minus sign here. All right, so there's minus 0 0.769. So you have a negative correlation. Now, 0 0.796 is equivalent to saying 76.9, which is a relatively strong correlation. So you have a negatively, sorry, you have a negative strong correlation between the two values, sorry, the two parameters, my bad, between the two parameters being GNP per capita and also um, birth rate per 1,000. All right, so the answer you will hear will actually be minus 0 0.769. All right, so students, so you have there basically a Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. I can blaze up that. Okay, then. 